Hi Misfits, welcome back. Today we're going to watch a channel called Summer Stitchin... Summer Stitchin Witch. Yeah. Let's get started. Hi everybody. I'm going to try to make this video again. Uh... Hey, somebody with worse audio and visual than I do. Excellent. My part of the video is going to look so much better now. Cool! The first time didn't make much sense, and the second time the phone started ringing, so third time's a charm, right? <laughs> okay. Well, you know you are a witch, apparently. And uh, power of three, bitch. Power of three. In my first video I made, I mentioned how I've been reading a lot about Wicca, but I don't agree with everything I read. And I feel like that's perfectly fine. You don't have to agree with every single thing you read about a certain religion, even if you follow that religion. Yeah, you know, uh, Wicca is a pretty, um, personal kind of, uh, religion. Yeah. You should know that already. It's fairly considered one of the uh, most open-minded of religions and basically allows you to practice any way you want whether it be in a group or by yourself. It's all about your intentions. As a witch, you should already know that. So, this video is going to be about one of those things that I've come across that I don't agree with at all. Um, alright, so... Fucking get on with it. That's what we came here for, to hear you bitch about something. What is it? you disagree with. Being a member of the LGBT community, I can understand why a lot of lesbians and gays are attracted to Wicca. Wicca is one of the very few religions out there that actually accepts us and embraces us and welcomes us with open arms. And that's great. Hooray for that, you know? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, But Bit it out already. God. I find that the one tradition of Wicca that I feel most attuned to leaves out the transgendered community. Excuse me? I've dabbled. I've dabbled. I've learned about Wicca. And where is it that leaves out the transgendered people? Where? Where? Tell me, fucking tell me, please, fucking tell me. The most accepting religion in the world, basically saying you can practice it any way you want. There are not very many rules, and it's all about your intent. How are they excluding transsexual people? Um... I feel most attuned to Dianic witchcraft. Um, I'm a lesbian. I'm a feminist. I find that when I cast circles and such, I do invoke the goddess more often than the god, and I do put more emphasis on the goddess. So, I do feel that I lean more toward Dianic Wicca. That's true about a lot of witches, whether it be of the Dianic version or not. Typically, the uh, goddesses get more action because typically the feminine energy is one that is used a lot of the time. But still, what's the fucking issue? Um, so. <sighs> Jesus, woman, just get to the fucking point already. I'm not a patient person. Sorry. And I, I really love the Budapest work. I've talked about her before in my videos, mentioned her name, because she is really amazing. I have no clue who you're talking about. She's like the leading figure for Dianic Witchcraft, and she is just so amazing. I love her work. I love reading her books. So, um, I was online reading her magazine online, and 
I clicked on her classes because she has classes on Wicca and witchcraft and feminist spirituality and such, and they look really interesting. Like, I really, really want to take her classes, but they're so expensive. <sighs> Are you, are you, is this just a video to promote this woman's classes? Uh, I've yet to hear what the fucking problem is. Come on now. Spit it out. Makes me want to cry. Um, so, I guess just for the fun of it, I clicked on the application to see what kind of questions you have to answer on the application to take the classes. Why? Who, who fucking cares? If you aren't going to take the class, why click to just see what the questions are? I mean, what fucking kind of questions would it be? I do, is there going to be an essay? Are you just curious if there's like an essay or some shit? I, I don't. I don't know. Get to the point. And one of the questions is, are you a woman born woman? and you check yes or no. Should have seen this coming. Should have seen this issue coming. Hmm. Question about that. See, here's the thing. If I were to see that question, that would tell me that they acknowledge transgendered women. They are acknowledging that. Not excluding. My first thought would not be, oh my god, I guess you can't be a transgendered woman and take this class. No, that that's your assumption. That's that's not a stated thing. It's just a question acknowledging the existence of trans women. That is inclusion. That is not exclusion. Was was there like some like little paragraph underneath it saying, you know, if you are a trans woman, I am sorry, you cannot participate in this class. Then yes, that would be trans exclusion. But it's it's not. I mean, is it? Was it? Was that? Are you going to tell me that? Oh, that question angered me. It angered me as much as it angers me when I have to fill out other forms and it asks your sex and it has a box, male, and a box, female. So you're one of them. You're one of those fucking people. Okay, that, that explains it. Though I, I will point out, you did not say that there was a little uh, byline underneath it saying that, sorry, if you did check that you were not born as a biological female, then I'm sorry, you can't take the class. Since, since you didn't specify that, because I'm sure if it was there, you would have fucking said that. Since you didn't say that right directly afterwards, it wasn't there. So there was no exclusion. And there could be very many reasons why they would ask that question. But the simple fact they asked that question means that, hey, they acknowledge your existence. I hate that because I feel like forms just add that in for no reason at all. Like it. Well, some forms, there's a definite reason why they ask you those things. It really depends on the form for the reasoning. But at the same time, yes, there are some forms that you're like, well, why do you need to know that? But that's usually because most forms have that on them. And so it's kind of a formula. It's kind of they're just doing what everybody else does because some people actually need to know that information. And they're just using their forms. They're creating their forms by example of other people's forms. People are used to answering that question. So it is a question that's on there. Nothing to get angry about. Nothing. It's fucking stupid. Stupidest fucking thing to get angry about. So many other things in this world to get angry about. And be justified in that anger. Totally unnecessary. And 
sometimes I'm so tempted to put another box and check off other, <laughs> or like I've heard of people adding another box and checking it and putting next to it yes for the question of sex, which I just think is hilarious. <laughs> okay, that's why you're like this. You're fucking immature as hell. Jesus, I thought you were at least in your late 20s, at least. But I guess not. I guess you've got the uh, the mindset of a 12-year-old, huh? Huh? Is that is that what it is? Am I right? Am I right? So yeah, it just made me really, really angry that Diana Witchcraft discriminates against transgendered people. Once again, where are you getting that they're discriminating? How? You didn't say there was some experts, some byline, some little added extra saying that, sorry, if you checked yes, then no, 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 It's just a question, acknowledging the existence, so they are aware, so they don't look at the person and have to go, mm. What are you? That's actually kind of a sign of respect, showing a concern that maybe they might misgender you. Hey, maybe they're asking because they think that that's pretty fucking awesome. And they want to be able to acknowledge the fact that, hey, we've got a transgender woman on our group, and let's just say all welcome to her and let her know that she is feeling included in the group. Because if we didn't know, we may not be able to do that for her. Ah! See, there's many fucking ways to look at this. And automatically thinking that they are discriminating against trans women is fucking asinine. You're just looking for something to be pissed off about. Looking for a reason to excuse the fact that you can't afford the class. Well, they're fucking discriminatory against trans people, so you know what? I don't want to fucking take this class anyways. God. Oh, fuck you, man. Fuck you. An idiot. Because I know transgendered people. I am in the GSA at my college, and there are quite a few of them. And they're all good people, you know? Okay, so you're in college. A little younger than I thought you were. But that explains it as well. You're one of those fucking idiot SJWs in college thinking, you know, well, not realizing what the real fucking world is all about. Um, so I'm really for transgender rights. You mean human rights? That's what it is. You don't have to be for transgendered rights. You just need to be for general human rights. Having respect for other people, regardless of whether they follow the same line as you. That's, that's common human decency. Um, and it just doesn't make much sense to me why they wouldn't be allowed. Um. Seriously, was there a fucking sign saying no transgendered women allowed? Was there? If you pointed that out to me, I could be on your side. But you didn't point that out. So I'm going to assume it's not there, so just fuck off. I guess the reason for it is because they feel that transgender people haven't experienced all the experiences that women have. Which I just think is crap. I'm sorry. I think that's crap. I don't agree with that. All right, I'm pulling out some undoom for this shit. Moron! Hey, moron! Transgendered women have not experienced the same thing that biological women have. There is no getting around that. They did not go through the puberty that biological women have gone through. They've never had their period. They've never had cramps. They have not gone through all of this. And it still baffles me that feminines, feminists are just so fucking up the ass of trans women. Now, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be fine and okay and, you know, inclusionary of trans women. I'm just saying, why are you so fucking far up their ass 
It is not the same situation. They do not go through the same stuff. Now, I'm not going to pull, you know, that whole fucking, well, they had, you know, male privilege beforehand, so it's not the same. I'm not fucking saying that shit. I'm just saying the pure simple fact that they did not grow up as a biological female. They have not been through the same things or had the same experience. Plain and simple. It's fucking obvious. I feel like, if anything, transgender women have had to experience more experience than biological women have even had to endure. I mean, yes, biological women, we face discrimination on a daily basis and we face harassment. Seriously. Seriously. You can't say shit like that. You're fucking, you're a fucking idiot. Now, I usually don't like to just go off on the idiot more and fucking it. You know, I, I try to, you know, go in a little slightly different route. But you are a fucking idiot. That statement right there, you know, says they've not gone through the same thing. Some, yes, have gone through more than bi some biological females because we all have our own personal experiences. Some transgendered women have it worse, experience-wise, than other transgendered women. Everybody has a personal experience, but still, it doesn't mean that they had the same experience. And it also doesn't mean that they had a necessarily worse experience. And even if they have, which, yeah, quite possibly they have, because if they are truly a transgendered person, true transsexual, transsexual, they've had body dysphoria. They have a mental disorder. But still, it's not better or worse or the same. It's simply a different life experience. But, I mean, transgendered women have that and so much more to deal with. Because then they have to deal with us, the biological women, who don't accept them as a part of our gender. Because they aren't. They aren't. And acknowledging that a transgendered woman isn't the same as a biological woman is not saying that you don't accept them. Plain and simple. It is not our fault and we should not feel bad. We can empathize with somebody having an experience that is different and hard. But that doesn't mean that, oh my God, we poor women just have to accept them as we are. No, we don't gotta do that. They are something different. Not better, not worse, just different. And I believe that majority of true transgender women, and, and why is it, why is it we are always talking about transgendered women? What about the transgendered men? Just, uh, it, it baffles me. You're a feminist. Shouldn't you be more concerned with the transgendered men since, you know, they were women? I don't know. It it really doesn't fucking matter. But it is it's it's kind of interesting that it's always about transgendered women's issues, not transgendered men. And if you're a real feminist, like you claim you are, shouldn't you be like that? Shouldn't you be questioning that? Shouldn't you be like, what about the actual biological females who are transgendered? What about them and their rights? Because they were born women. You should be, you know, like, transgendered men. Or do you just think, oh, they just, they jumped the boat. They jumped to the other team, so fuck them. Is that what it is? I don't know, but it's fucking irritating to me. This fucking simple question on a goddamn questionnaire bugs you. 
Well, this is what bothers me. And that's wrong. I mean, does anyone else see anything wrong with that? I... Anyway, so I do feel like they've had our experiences. It's not like... It's not like they just woke up one day and were like, Hey, I think I'm gonna be a woman. That point right there, that's a good point against the trans trenders. Cause yeah, they kind of just did that. Just saying. It doesn't work like that. Transgender people, most of them knew that they were transgendered since they were little kids. You know, you hear about the little boys who wear their mother's dresses and her jewelry and her makeup. You know, it's like they knew since they were little kids. Once again, you're taking it from the viewpoint of a trans woman, not a trans man. Are you giving preferential treatment to trans women because, hey, well, they wanted to join the fold, so they must be so absolutely pro-woman, so they must be feminist, so we must accept them no matter what. Is that what it is? Is, this, is it? Is it? that they were a girl inside, that they were born in the wrong body. So I just feel like why should it matter what your genitalia looks like? You have had the same experiences. You have had the same everything. The only difference is the body parts. No, they haven't. You want to be a feminist? How about this? Let's get all feminist up in here, shall we? Did these trans women go through the things like, hmm, the experience of having little boys trying to look up your skirt every time you wear a fucking skirt or a dress? Hmm. Did these transgender women have to go through getting their period for the first time and going, what the fuck is happening to me? Oh, 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 oh. Did they go through the experience of being uh, made fun of when uh, they overflowed all over their pad and nobody told them and they're walking around with blood-stained pants? Hmm? Did they have that experience? Did they have the experience of the, you know, boys, the first boy crushes they had trying to manipulate them uh, into having sex with them before they are ready? Hmm. Did they? Did they? Now, those are just a few examples, and I'm not a feminist, but, you know, if you want to go down the feminist rabbit hole and uh, say that you're a feminist and use that as your go-to thing, you should be thinking about those things. Did they go through those things and many other things that females particularly have to go through that can be um, humiliating and or traumatizing. Hmm. Did, did they? Did they? Did they? Hmm? Did they have those experiences? Did they? Is it the same? Really? God, just realized you got me to get all fucking feminist up in this shit. I'm not a feminist, okay? God damn it. I hate that fucking subject matter. Jesus. But why should that matter? I don't understand that. Um, I understand in Dianic Witchcraft kind of being a woman only thing and not including men. You're showing yourself to be a rather stupid bitch. Sorry, I meant witch. But, um, you don't seem to be very educated. I'm not even a practicing witch. I don't follow any form of religion. But I do know enough to know that the Dianic path, yes, is female-centric. Yes, it is about worshipping the feminine for a lot of people. There are some discrepancies, yes, yes, but we're not going to get into that because we're, we're going to go with the viewpoint that you have that it's about women and worshipping goddesses, specifically Diana. Well, yes, there is a lot of female worship in it. But you know what? There's plenty of men who practice Dianic witchcraft because they worship the feminine. Men are allowed to practice Dianic witchcraft. It's not exclusionary. So they wouldn't be excluding trans women. Plus, I mean, come on now. Trans women want to be women. 
So, you know, they kind of idolize, or I mean, I'm probably not going to figure out the exact word to use, but being feminine and being a woman is an important thing to them. Hence, they would be a wonderful practitioner of a female-centric witchcraft. Just saying. Just saying. Just trying to, you know, prove a point here. Get the truth out into the ether rather than the bullshit that you are trying to spew here. And you're, oh, mm. Um, I understand that part of it because men haven't lived our experiences, you know? You just proved my point. Up until the time that transgendered women transcended into womanhood, they were men. Even if their brain told them they were women, they're still men. So they didn't experience the same experience. Listen to the words that are coming out of your own mouth, dumbass. And sometimes, you know, some women do feel more comfortable in a circle of all women, and they do feel more free to let go and let loose and just be themselves and whatever. I understand that. Especially if they practice skyclad. Yes, skyclad. If you don't know what skyclad means, that means that they practice completely naked. Mm -hmm. Not for me. I mean, I spend most of my time naked around the house, but... Yeah, in front of a bunch of other people? No, thanks. I'm not a nudist. That being said, I do still feel most attracted to Dianic witchcraft just because I do consider myself a feminist and I do feel much closer to the goddess. Well, you don't have to be, you know, a practitioner of Dianic witchcraft to be that way. Just saying. There's plenty of goddesses out there that you can choose from. I'm still kind of trying to develop my relationship with the god, I guess. Um, but I feel pretty set with the goddess right now. Um, I'm not going to say I am Dianic because I'm still learning and I feel like I still have a lot to learn. You do have a lot to learn. So I'm not going to put a label on it just yet. You're a feminist SJW and you don't want to label it? Oh my god! Will wonders never cease? But that is what I feel closest to. Um, I just don't agree with the fact that they discriminate against transgendered people. And I mean, what about intersex people? You know, that's that's a whole other topic because that's the way you were born. My God, you're looking for more shit to complain about? Trust me, they don't give a shit about what's between your fucking legs. You're the one who's making a big deal out of a what's between a person's leg. Jesus fucking. All right, so that was the end of the video for the most part. So I hope this was remotely entertaining for you and you didn't pull your hair out of your head like I felt like doing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.